Hello everyone, have a majestic day. This is the online teacher blog and we have another short blog video which is entitled Steps and Procedures on How to Be a Commission Officer of the Armed Forces of the Philippines. So this is the AFP Vision 2028, a world-class armed forces source of national pride. So before we start, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. So we have here the general information. First, applicant must not be less than 21 years old nor more than 64 years old of age at the time of appointment. Must be a Filipino citizen. Must pass the physical examination conducted by an authorized AFP hospital or by civilian government hospitals in which case the PE report to be validated by the major service chief sergeant and the sergeant general AFP. Must pass the AFP service aptitude test formally AFPTAP or what we know as Armed Forces of the Philippines Test Aptitude Battery. Elected appointed government officials, MNSA graduates, holder of government licenses and members of affiliated units are exempted from the offset. So if you are a licensed professional teacher, no need for you to take the exam for the upset or the AFP SAT. Lastly, we have must have completed the appropriate pre commission training for individual applicants or military orientation training of affiliated reserve. Let's take, for example, if you don't have an ROTC, then you can take the BCMT training. So steps and procedures on how to be a commissioned reservist officer of the Armed Forces of the Philippines. So uh, we will discuss now the steps and procedure on the following page. So step one, check which any of the six sources of commission you qualify and complete the requirements therein. For example, if you are a licensed professional, complete the requirements in source of Commission 1. So these are the sources of commission in the AFP Reserve Force. So group 1, we have Advanced ROTC, POTC, <coughs> PMMA, MAP graduates. We have group 2, the serving NCO or POs. Group 3, licensed professionals. Group 4, Masters of National Security Administration or MNSA. Group 5, AFP Affiliate Reserve Units. Group 6, Presidential Appointees and Elected Officials. Group 7, Resignation from Present Commission and Subsequent Commission in the Reserve Force or AFP. So if you are a licensed professional teacher, or a licensed criminologist or, or a registered nurse, then you will be qualified or categorized in group three. Now let's talk about the step two. After completion of requirements, prepare and submit said documents in five folders with tabbing. One folder for the original copies and four folders for photocopied and authenticated documents to your preferred branch of service through the major services reserve command or afp reserve command for technical administrative service such as doctors nurses veterinaries professors dentists chaplains bar passers and medical administrative service you can also submit to OG9 or Philippine Army, OA9 Philippine Navy, and OA9 Philippine Air Force. We have step three, 
after consolidation of applicants' documents, respective major services reserve command will schedule the deliberation of the applicants. We have step four upon passing the deliberation board. <coughs> The documents will be recommended by the commanding generals of the uh, uh, Philippine Army and Philippine Air Force, flag officer in command of the Philippine Navy and commander, if peers come for the technical administrative service together with the minutes of deliberation to the office of the deputy chief of staff for service and retiree affairs G9 Comp. General Emilio Aguinaldo Kisson City. We have Step 5 after OG9. FP has received the said recommendations. Its Manpower Development and Administration Division will draft a disposition form and a letter to the President of the Republic of the Philippines through the Secretary of National Defense, Julie, signed by the Chief of Staff of the AFP. So we have here the Reservist and Retiree Affairs Office and Reserve Command Locations. <clears throat> so there are eight Reserve Command Locations here. First is the Office of Deputy Chief of Staff for Reservist and Retiree Affairs, J9. And the address is P. Santos Avenue, Camp General Aguinaldo or General Emilio Aguinaldo, Quezon City. Second is we have the Office of the Assistant Chief of Staff for RAOG9. So the address is Philippine Army Fort Bonifacio, Tagig City. Third is the Office of the Assistant Chief of Air Staff for RRAOA9. Headquarters PAF or the Philippine Air Force Colonel Jesus Villamore Air Base, Pasay City. Office of the Assistant Chief of Naval Staff for RRA, ON9, Second Floor OESPA Building, Naval Station Jose Francisco, Fort Bonifacio Tagig. Then we have AFP Reserve Command, AFP Reserve Command General Headquarters, AFP Camp General Emilio Aguinaldo, Quezon City. Army Reserve Command or the ARISCOM, Camp Mariano Riego de Dios, Tanza Cavite. We also have Air Force Reserve Command or EFRC in Clark Air Base, Pampanga. And lastly, we have Naval Reserve Command, NAV or NAVRISCOM, Cabildo Street in Tramoros, Manila. All right, so I hope that you've learned a lot from our topic for today, even just a short blog video. So until next time, thanks for watching. To the King of Majesty, Jesus Christ, be all the glory, honor, and praise. So this is again the online teacher blog. Until next time, bye.